here with Kian Pan. Can everyone please introduce themselves? Hi, I'm Brooklyn. I'm a junior and this is my second year on Palm. I'm Maddie. I'm a sophomore and this is my third year on Palm. I'm Lexi. I'm a junior and this is my third year on Palm. I'm Lily. I'm a sophomore and this is my third year on Palm. I'm Ella. I'm a sophomore and this is my second year on Palm. <laughs> what is everyone's favorite part about Palm? Um, my favorite part about Palm is probably high kick. I just like how theatrical and fun it is. Um, my favorite part is probably football games because you get to perform in front of all your friends. My favorite part is just like the bonds you make on the team because you make a lot of lifelong friendships. Um, my favorite part of Palm is camp season because it just like is such a fun experience. My favorite part of Palm is states because of all the pretty <laughs> colors that happen in the routines. Your guys most recent competition was regionals. How did that go? It went good. We qualified into Division One, and then after regionals, we have three weeks to perfect and improve our routine until state. That's amazing. And what was your theme for regionals? Um, our theme was elevators, and we incorporated music that has like numbers and levels to like incorporate that elevator theme. Can you guys talk about the different types of routines we do? Uh, yeah, we have our high kick routine, which we spend most of October practicing for, and it's just a very theatrical and creative routine, and we get to do costumes and hair and makeup and everything involved in that routine for the theme. Um, we have camp routines, and we have three routines, and that's what we perform at football games, and we just alternate throughout the routines. Um, we also perform at pep rally, which we'll usually perform at camp. Um, for Canton Homecoming this year, we did an alumni routine celebrating the 50 years of Canton Palm, and we had a bunch of alumni come and perform with us. For our stage routine, we compete in regional with it, and we get into a division, and we spend all of January and the first week of February practicing, and then we compete. So states is your next competition, and what's your guys' theme for that? Our theme is elevator. Okay, so when is states? Um, States is this weekend. It's on February 11th. It's on Sunday. And after States, is your season over? Um, it slows down our season. It doesn't really end. It. We still have Kids Clinic and um, Variety Show. What's your guys' favorite part of your States routine? Um, my favorite part is probably the music because it's really hype and it just gets you like so excited. My favorite part is Kick Line because it's like the star of the show and Canton is known for their kicks. Thank you so much for letting us interview you guys, and good luck at States. Thank, Thank you! you. <laughs>
Mitchell, and this is my fifth year doing Palm. My name is Carly, this is my fifth year doing Palm. My name is Brooklyn, and this is my third year doing Palm. My name is Liliana, this is my fourth year doing Palm. My favorite memory from this season is probably doing really well at our high kick competition, and overall from Palm, just making lifelong friendships and bonding with the team. Um, I'm most excited for performing our state's routine. We like. If we just started our state's um, season, but we put on a lot of work and effort into that. I'm really excited just to get out, out on the floor and perform it. Um, some advice I'd give for incoming members is just to try your best. You don't have to have POM experience. Just show up with a smile on your face and be ready to work. Uh, my favorite part is definitely just like having fun with the team. It's just a fun event and the community gets to watch us and the energy is good. I'm Jordan Newton and I'm here with Sam Plentzner. And Sam is on the varsity wrestling team for Plymouth. Sam, how long have you been wrestling for? Uh, I started wrestling in eighth grade, so this will be my fifth year of wrestling. Nice. What is your favorite part about wrestling? Like, what do you like at it? Um, I think uh, getting your hand raised at the end of the match is super rewarding, so that's probably my favorite part. Interesting. Yeah, I saw uh, people, you know, wrestling and, you know, kind of looking victorious in the end. I thought it was really cool. Um, one of the questions I was told that I thought would be uh, interesting to ask is, what's your favorite takedown or what are some of your favorite like moves? Um, I'd say my my go-tos are, so blast doubles and then sweep singles are like my, my go-to takedowns. So for, for people who don't know, like what are those, what do those look like? Like what, what are you thinking? Um, so your blast doubles basically, I think it's your stereotypical, you, you pick up your buddy's legs and like take them back, you pick them up and take them back and then your sweep single, you're attacking your opponent at an angle and sweeping up one of the legs at a time and then finishing the shot. Interesting. Um, thank you for your interview, Sam. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Who am I here with? Uh, Katie Stewart. Nice to meet you. And can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, I am a Salem senior captain of the gymnastics team, and I started gymnastics when I was two, and I've been doing it ever since. Awesome. And what is your favorite part about gymnastics? Um, I love the creativity you get to add to the sport. You always get to try new things, new skills, like and change up your routine. It's always just really fun, and the team is amazing. Awesome. And uh, going into a competition, how do you mentally and physically prepare yourself? Um, normally, I will take a nap before my meet and listen to music because music is, it keeps me out of my own head because it's 
a little bit scary sometimes doing the crazy skills, so um, it definitely music helps in sleeping. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much. Sandra Sager went to the old Plymouth High School and graduated in 1969. She had polio when she was 15 months old. Uh, she and I were both in the class of 69. And the old high school did not have elevators. She had braces and crutches, which you can see in the mural. And she just kind of went up the back steps on her butt and scooted up and up and down. So her friends would uh, her friends would take her books for her and that kind of thing. In Sandy's case, uh, you can see her braces. And so she would say, I had polio, but let's get on with life. And that was her prime uh, incentive. Uh, but what we wanted for the wall was also to tell people, pay attention, look around, because not all things are visible. And there's a lot that you can learn from other people. And sometimes it's kind of lonely. Um, and the reason I like it being here in the high school is because if you're here during the day when everybody's walking around, uh, everybody's pretty busy. So that's kind of the, in a nutshell. But we want to make sure that there's people who are recognized that have been through things. And we all go through things once in a while. But we want to have them there and we want to say, come on and tell your story. Right now, the uh, committee is myself and Kennedy Israel. It was Jerry Trumka. And then we have other people that we gather these names. So right now, it's just the two of us that do this. Uh, the people who are the honorees have had some obstacle, and they have overcome it. Not maybe 100%, but they continued with their life. And that was the other thing most people wanted, just to have a good life, regardless of what they had been through. Why, why me? Uh, well, it wouldn't have been my decision. Um, don't take it negatively, but positively, I, I, I'm honored. Um, but there's a lot of people on that wall. Uh, to me, I've done, I've gone through much worse than I, in, including um, the ultimate, I guess, sacrifice, and, and, and they're no longer with us. So to be honored, to have someone step forward uh, and explain my story and what I went through um, is, 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 is very emotional, uh, very um, rewarding, um, appreciative. Uh, but again, I would rather look at the rest of the people on that wall and some of the people I'm getting inducted with uh, mean much more to me uh, than whatever I went through. And uh, one of them uh, is no longer with us that I know very personally. And uh, it's an honor to be on that same wall. Um, so for the community aspect, I think it's great to see and, 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 and respect those who have gone through uh, various issues. Um, that's why uh, my issue I, I, I still say hails in comparison to theirs, but at the same time, I've used those, um, those of others and myself uh, to give back to the community, be involved in the community, um, and, and really give myself um, because you just never know what somebody's going through, what they've gone through, and how we can help. And that's really just be a good community member, be a, a, a contributing member to society. So with this, people get to see these names, uh, get to see... Um, Sandy Story, which uh, Deb Madonna has uh, uh, ingrained in me, and, 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 and uh, I'm a firm believer in uh, what she's done here and, and how we can respect those uh, uh, in front of us and the situations they've gone through. I'm honored, and uh, um, it, it, it breaks my heart to see someone young up there as well, <clears throat> or a lot of young people that are, are, are no longer with us, and that, that just, I still can't get over that part, so I'll do my end. Uh, to uphold the honor of being on that wall.